Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Witcher 3 next generation playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on Death March difficulty and this is the Blood and Wine DLC. This is part 5. Um, okay, in case you're wondering where I am, I'm just above the perfumery's um, shop. So um, um, the reason I'm here, I just wanted to show you something actually guys. I checked the previous episodes, I didn't do a good job of explaining an alternative for, um, let me see what this is again, delayed recovery. You remember I told you that if you take a decoction, I mean you can take it, it's fine, but the problem is delayed recovery doesn't last as long and you can't take as many potions as you'd like. So let me just show you a demonstration. So let's say I go in here. And let's take, I don't know, Echidna. So that's one decoction, right? And as you can see, right, I'll need to show you this as well. Just so, I, you know what, guys, I'm very, I'm not very good at explaining maths to people, <laughs> right? I'm just not good at it. But um, as you can see, 174 points of maximum toxicity um, currently that I can have. Now, Offset is 50 toxicity because of the um, the decoction. So therefore, let's say what is, sorry, I'm rubbish at mass. I need a calculator. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, honestly. Right, it's a calculator. Okay, so we got one, uh, 174. That's minus 50. And that'll be 124 points, right? So 124 points. Now, what is 55% of 124 points? Let, let's just call it 70. Let's say 70, 72%. Now, what that means essentially is if I was to take some decoctions, right? You can see the green bar going up, right? Which is great. So let's have a look. So we're currently on 114, but... I probably can only take one more decoction. So let's take that. And there we go. Right, let's have a look. So I've got quite a few bits there. Right, I'm healing as well, which is great. My toxicity is quite high. Now, just to speed this up, um, obviously I'm not going to just stand here and wait for um, whatever. But anyway, the point I'm making is this will only last for about two and a half minutes. I've timed it. I've already done the testing um, off, you know, recording. So... As you can see, my blizzard is still active. Look, guys, this is still valid. You can still do this. This is great. There's nothing wrong with uh, doing this. I'm just saying it won't last as long as, say, without taking a decoction. So anyway, I hope this helps, guys. I hope this helps. And I hope I've explained it. But the thing is, um, however you look at it, I'm still going to be... Uh, oh, look at that. The damage numbers went up. No, I don't want to do that. There you go. Check it out. And my sign intensity is showing up. I think this is bugged. It's like sometimes it doesn't show. Which is really odd. But whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go to character. So I'm just reminding you, I'm using Euphoria. It's nowhere near as good. It is nowhere near as good as it used to be pre-patch. But still, it's... It, look, guys, you're, you're going to get 130% more damage signs and your um attack as well so i mean look see guys blizzard's gone blizzard's disappeared swallows disappeared this is about a couple of minutes right so can you see that now i'm taking damage my swallow's gone as well i've got to keep topping up there's a lot of maintenance and i can't be bothered right so look at that so toxicity because of that um oh look it's even there look check on the right hand side 50 offset to, um, toxicity versus 92 toxicity level. So that means my maximum is 92 because of the decoction. I hope this makes sense. I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense to you. But listen, check out a guy called Phoenix237. I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner. And I hope this will help. Anyway, so I'm going to meditate. I'll show you what we're going to do now, guys. Oh, actually, I don't need to meditate at all then. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to have a rematch with... Um, I can't let this go, guys. You've seen my... Uh, we defeated this guy, thankfully, and that was a bloody hard Gwent game. I just barely made it. Um, right, where is he? It's the Knight Carmelengo, I think he's called. This dude. Right, let's go and see him. And you know what? Just for this occasion... I'm going to wear my hair mask. 
<laughs> I love this thing, guys. It's so hilarious. <laughs> The thing is, you know, when you speak to Anna Henrietta wearing this and you're having a really serious conversation, it's just hilarious. Anyway, so let's go this uh, way. Sorry, dude. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are well. Hope everyone's doing, you know, okay. And where are you? Okay, here we are. Oh, God, look at that view. Guys, imagine you lived here. I mean, say you live in... Okay, I live in a flat, yeah? So I don't know what you call down America or whatever. Apartment, I guess? So it's kind of similar. I'm on the second floor, right? Imagine looking out of your window, and this is what you see. God damn it, that's so beautiful, man. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I can't complain too much, because when I open my window, it's just beautiful trees and, you know, a lot of grass. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. Anyway, so we're going to check this dude out. And I want my revenge. Yes, whatever. Yes, greetings. I actually like this guy. He's really cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that mask. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. It's awesome. Anyway. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Yeah, he beat the shit out of me, guys. So, like I said, because I've got a crappy, weak Skelliger deck, it's only basic. It's getting better. It is getting better. We won Ermion in the last episode or the episode before. But, um, hey, it's getting better. But, guys, I've got Gwent set to hard difficulty. Uh, guys, the, the two Sant players are atrocious. They really are. It's actually quite scary. I'm going to take all the weather cards out, actually, guys. Um, and I've been meaning to do this. Right, I'm taking him out. Jesus. All right, let's do it. Let's start game. So I'm going to use Northern Realms just to win a few more good cards. And then I'm going to switch back to Skelliger. I love Skelliger deck, guys. I love it. I think it's one of the best decks in in The Witcher 3. It's just, um, at the moment, it, it sucks. <laughs> right, two Spies Gaunter. Let's go with this. This is pretty good. Wish me luck. <laughs> this, this guy beat me so badly. It was so embarrassing. So I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. We flushed out a Scorch. However, if you remember the other game, he did have another Scorch, guys. So, um... Right. Okay, let's just put this out. It's fine. Alright, two Crinfords. It's not bad. Oh, really? Oh, is that what we're going to do now? Okay. Okay. Ah, I don't want to put Olgid by himself. Let me just put a 10. It's fine. Dora, I'm going to use my Mysterious Elf. Um, I'm just trying to save him, you know? What was the point of that? <laughs> Alright, so that's a 12. I could scorch it, but do I need to do that? Guys, he's not played any other... Sp I mean, no Nilf Guardian Spies. I wonder why. Is he waiting? Look, guys, I'm just going to put him out there now. Jesus. <laughs> There's no point in waiting. Oh, you kidding. I should have had two Scorchers there. Okay, good. This is what I was waiting for. So, look, as you can see, he's very spy heavy. Um, okay, so I'll capture him. This dude. I, I hate this Gwen player, guys. I hate him so much. See, I can't Scorch. I was going to Scorch his Vili, but I can't now. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to add some more points to his board, but I'm going to get some, some more cards. So that's all I can really ask for. Great. Wonderful. No Medic and no freaking decoys. That is just great. Okay, I'm going to put Natalis out there. Get out there, Natalis. Help me out, man. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do anything about this. There's nothing I can do. So we're going to leave him on there. Uh, we're ahead by quite a bit. Let's just quit, guys. Let, let me burn through a couple of cards. Okay, good. Medic, please. Decoy, maybe? I don't know. Something. <laughs> God. Never mind. Okay. Um... I've got quite a few heroes. I'm going to put Geralt out there. So it forces him to use at least two cards. Okay. So that's a 10. And... Ah, but that's... Come out. Oh, you're, you're shitting me. 
<laughs> you bastard. He just used... Oh, I, I hate this Gwent player, guys. I hate him so much. With passion. 13 cards. God damn it, man. Should I keep going? Let's try that. He's got a lot to catch up, you know. Okay, he's got a yen. See, I don't have any medics, man. I, oh, unbelievable. See, I can't medic... Oh, my God. I can't medic, um, medic him out. Unbelievable. So he's... Yeah, well... Oh, damn. I was going to use my Scorch, but I've got an 80. Shit. Um... I need to... Okay, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. I'll just push him a bit more. Now I'm going to use Scorch. Jesus. Yeah, screw you, bitch. <laughs> right, there you go. Okay. Alright, he's got to use one... Oh, my God. I'm on seven cards. This isn't good, guys. I wish I had a commander's horn, because I've only got old gear. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. This is probably not a good idea. What do you think? Use a use scorch now? I mean he can medic these out. He's got medics. Those annoying little ones. Um Philippa, sorry. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this, guys. This is probably suicide, but whatever. Okay, he hasn't put another archer. Damn it. God damn it. Okay, screw it. I'm just going to do that. We're done. We're done for now. See, he's got a lot of points to catch up. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. We quit. All right, there you go. Jesus. This is pretty awful. Even with my OP Northern Realms deck, this guy is just unreal. Actually, let me put this out first. So I've got no forward fighters. I don't know if he's got another Scorch. Most likely he has. Okay, let's put one. decoy he was probably saving that for a spy perhaps i don't know oh god i'm so nervous guys okay look i have no choice these are my only two cards there's nothing more i can do so i just have to leave it oh, of course yeah there you go guys you see what i mean piece of shit god damn it man i hate this gwen player i hate him well that's it the show's over guys we'll come back to him I can't be bothered. <laughs> He's such a bastard. Ah, <sighs> great. Just watch those points pile on. Wonderful. Oh, hold on. I won! <laughs> yes! Yes, I won! <laughs> oh, that's superb! <laughs> Guys, I won. <laughs> Oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs> Die, bitch. <laughs> King Bran. Okay, that's a, that's a leader ability for Skelliger. It's actually very good. Let me show you. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> god, guys, I, was, <laughs> I don't know how I won that. Jesus. That's hilarious. Okay, anyway. Uh, how do we do this again? Change leaders. Right, um... I do love this ability though, but I don't have the cards to make this work. This is probably your next best bet. Okay, units only lose half their strength in bad weather conditions. So if he, I don't know, um, he puts Biting Frost on my line and I've got Old Gid on there. He won't turn into a one, he'll be a three. You know, for example, you know. I think I'm going to switch to this actually, for now. When I get better cards, though, guys, honestly, the shuffle ability, it is very risky, but if you can make it work, oh, you'll be unstoppable. I'll have to demonstrate that when the time comes, because 
Um, anyway, so he's down. I feel... <laughs> I don't know how I want, guys. How did I win that, man? Jesus. Do you know what it was? It was a bloody hair mask. <laughs> All right, anyway. So what are we doing today? Okay, first, before we... Uh, we are going to do uh, Le Cage O Fu. Uh, Le Cage O Fu. So we're going to do that. But before we do that, we're going to speak to... Do a little side quest. Uh, what is it called again? Yeah, it was meant to be this one. Um, I did Great Balls of Granite um, an episode ago, but it was actually supposed to be this one. I just wanted to get this out of the way. Um, it's just a small side quest. It's nothing. Oh, man. Look. Oh, God, I love Toussaint, guys. I just love it here. It's amazing. Bon Vivant. Did you say something? I wouldn't. You're muttering that <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, let's have a look. I defeated a perfumer. Okay, he's defeated. All right, he's done. He's done. I got to keep track. Uh, you know what uh, Gwent's players I've actually uh, faced, what cards I won, etc. Uh, by the way, the tournament is pretty difficult, guys. It's really difficult. So do not underestimate it. Guys, look at this. Oh, I just wish the music wouldn't, you know, would stop cutting out. But, oh, it feels like I'm in, I'm in a real place. Like, this is a place that really exists. Is there anything to loot? No, nothing. Anywho, let's go this way. Hey, we got a marker. What? He's talking to me. What? Oh, it's on the map. Um, there's excellent. Oh, I know what this is. I remember this, guys. My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south, you, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Look at the moss. South in all my fame. I've heard so much. Rival Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclerc, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teeth. That's nice of him. <sighs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Do you see that lady behind Geralt? <laughs> she loves his mask. <laughs> vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gratore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? This Grotore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside, and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. She loves Geralt's mask. <laughs> that lady behind Geralt. Inside arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Yeah, I will. I'll help her. Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress. Even less so when there's a... <clears throat> prize involved. <laughs> ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. How much would you need? Uh, listen, guys, I have haggled with her before. She's so unbelievably tight. She's a tight ass. So what I'm going to do, I think the best I can probably get is 350 if I do this right. All right, let me go up to 410. Master, forgive me, but you ask much too much. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, so let's go down to... Let's do a big chunk off. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that. A few crones less, Master. Ooh. A fistful. I beg you, sir. Okay, I think she'll just give me 350. Um... Yeah, in, a, in all my previous playthroughs, she's always done like, okay, please do not get angry. Don't get annoyance level up. Just pay me the money. Please, lady, I need it. A few oh, my God, Jesus. 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Now? Yes. That amount Jesus. I am to pay. Yeah, she, she's awful, guys, honestly. <laughs> sure, I'll look into it. Well, not now, Do but my yeah. Is to get your fiance back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotori has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. Back close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have. But none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Who is this lady behind me? She really loves her like Geralt. Jesus. <laughs> Talk to me. Witchman. Good day. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, uh, good. It's good that we've run into this because I forgot about this. Totally forgot. Oh, this is. No, not that. There, there was another lady. This one here. She was talking about Salon. Just remember that Salon for much later. There's going to be another side quest for later on. Anyway, Nilfgaard and Embassy. Where am I going? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. No, no. Not now. Not now. We will do it. Jesus, really high level. Bloody hell. <laughs> right. Not this. I want... Oh, my God. Where is it? Oh, this one. Okay. Right. So, it's this way. Thug. <laughs> let's, let's speak to him. You're the Witcher? The Duchess's friend? Maybe. Here to hunt the beast, are you? You're the witch. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I love this place, guys. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Because, look, I know I've said this a billion times. But in case you're new to the channel, I have my HD TV on my desk in front of me. And the immersion is unreal. It feels like you're really there with Geralt. That's why I just feel so enthralled by the gameplay and the graphics, the beauty of everything. It's awesome, man. Okay, what is this? The clever clogs. <laughs> Look at that picture. Cute. <laughs> anyway, so let's enter. Okay, this place will become more lively, but again, it'll be much later. We have to complete a side quest for later on. Okay, where is the dude? Some Why doesn't someone do something? Was that true? Right, that's him. Is anyone else here? No. Are nuts. What are they? Chop liver? What's this about? <laughs> ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes. And I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? Um, okay, I'll explain afterwards, it's fine. The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! <laughs> as if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. <laughs> wow, those noises he was making. What the hell, man? Anyway, guys, what I was trying to say was um, to conclude this quest, there's going to be two options. You can lie to him. If you lie to him, you'll get more money, less XP. If you tell him the truth, you'll get less money, but more XP. I'm going to do the one where I get more XP because I need ability points, guys. So anyway. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? I, I don't think he's not going to give us much. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Hmm. I don't I believe don't... you tight bastard. Jesus. 50 crown. Guys, it's not even worth Agreed. it. Ah, oh, shut up, you dickhead. Anyway. <laughs> Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? 
Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Okay, guys, so let's um, let's do this. So we've got to go at night, but actually, funnily enough, guys, there's some... I, th I Look, I'm just, look, I haven't played this in two years, forgive me, but there is some hidden dialogue, I think, if you go in the daytime. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong about this, but... Okay, we'll see. We, we will see. Well, it's only 5 p.m. This isn't like anything, so it's fine. Hear anything, but might want to look around anyway. All right, okay. I'm looking for a particular grave. Is it this one? This might be it, guys. Oh man, I love Milton. Milton was awesome, but anyway, this is his grave in case you want to see it. <laughs> I'm wearing the freaking hair mask. <laughs> Anyway, poor Milton. He was awesome. Uh, and guys, again, I'm not familiar with the books or, you know, Witcher 1 and 2. Um, was Milton and, uh, what's his name, uh, Palmerin? Uh, were they, you know, quite prevalent in the books or what? I mean, how does Geralt know, know them? Just having a look around real quick. Yeah, I think these are all locked. It's fine. Oh, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Seeing things. Alright, what's this? Can I loot it, really? I'll just get the camera. I don't need bloody ashes. Now, what's this? Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Alright. Gosh, it's been... It's been like... It feels like a lifetime since I played this. What's down here? Is that a shortcut somewhere? Anyway, whatever. Let's uh, keep going. Don't worry, I'm going to go back in that circle. I just want to have a look around, guys. That's all. Uh, if you don't like seeing this, just skip ahead. That's what the timestamps are for. You know, I put a lot of time and effort in those. <laughs> just skip ahead if you're not interested. But this game, in my opinion, is not to be rushed. It's freaking awesome. It's... No, that's the exit. What am I doing? <laughs> this game is not to be rushed. Okay. All right, anyway, let's get back to work then. Right, where am I supposed to go, though? Let's go down here. Okay, it could be down here, guys. All right, um... Well, there's no point meditating. It's only in 20... Well, 15 minutes. But in-game time is going to move forward quite quickly. And the reason I say all that is because... Um... All right, cool. So we're gonna, we're not gonna get into a fight straight away anyway. So don't worry. No, we have to wait until it's night time. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, so basically, here's what we do instead. Um, oh my god, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let me just, hey, come on. All right, here's what we do, guys. We're going to have a fight because this is interlinked with a treasure hunt as well. We're going to need some hangmans. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. 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 And what else? What else can we use? Um, I guess that, perhaps. Maybe this. It depends on my tox. Yeah, we... Oh, wait, hang on. No, we can't take any more. I think that's the maximum. Okay, let's go and get these dickheads. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Are they that easy? Noises could be coming from grave robbers. Can't know for sure, though. Need to wait till after dusk to confirm. All right, cool. So anyway, this will complete a treasure hunt. So, oh, is a cat? Oh, sorry, cat. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
a cute little cat. Basically, um, okay, uh, this is a reference to Batman and Robin and Selina, Selina Kyle. Um, anyway, let me grab that, grab that. So it's very fitting there will be cats near near her grave. <laughs> All right, Wells. Oh, nice. We've got some dimerytium. That's fantastic. Okay, let's grab that. Okay, there you go. So that should complete it, I think. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. Okay, let's read this. Journal kept by Quail, a gardener. 21st day of service. So diddling bored. There's really sod all to do here. A quick morning rounds enough to water all the plants. Flower bed in front of the embassy doesn't demand much I uh, care either. And so it goes day after day. Maybe tonight. I'll take a jaunt to San Sebastian. Play a hand of Gwent. <laughs> Good man. Blood Blood day Gwent, is that how you say it? Lost a whole month's wages. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Next month's is two. Wow. Racked up debts with that grey Bill Pellegrin. Heard he doesn't let such things slide. Got to scrounge up a few florins somehow, or this might end badly for me. 24th day of service. Overheard the ambassador give instructions to his secretary. In the coming days, they'll send a transport carrying wine bought for the imperial court, along with some unused operational wherewithal. What? Uh, my guess. They mean a sack stuffed with florins. Information like that could be worth a fortune to a lad from the right part of town. Ah, I see what he's doing. Okay, 27th day of service. Grey Bill Pellegrin slaughtered the caravan's guards, snatched all its cargo, had, to, uh, had the gall to deliver a pouch of coin to me at the embassy, said it was my share. I spit on his coin, but I'm afraid I'll need it soon enough. I hid what he gave me in a safe place. Ever since old Ralph died, no one buys wooden planters anymore. So his workshop's the a perfect hiding spot. 29th day of service. Graybill told me to keep my ears open at the embassy. Find out when they'll have another caravan to grab. As if, uh, as if as an afterthought, he added the guard commander would be quite shocked to learn about my role in the previous hijacking. I stole the next convo convoy's route from the secretary's office. It's the price I must pay for my idiot idea of going in cahoots with Greybill Pellegrin. 31st day of service. The transport set off. This time, it's escorted by Arnold A. A. Bloom? Anyway, command of the embassy guard. Greybill's men don't know they're in for a fight against elite soldiers. When he finds out, then it's time to get out of here. Coin I set aside should be enough to start afresh. Somewhere far, far away. Uh, may act seems like a good direction. Oh, whatever. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Oh, what? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Toussaint Steel Sword. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Come on. Jesus. Right, here we go. Oh, wow. This is great. This isn't the best. It's not the best one, though, but... It's, it's like um, the second best sword, I'd say, steel sword. I guess I could make it, but we need to get to level 58. But hey, we got a diagram, guys, so that's awesome. Right, <laughs> orders from Robin. <laughs> okay, orders from Robin. That foolish flatulence fluffer Bruce <laughs> has tried to cheat us again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive. So the very thought of looking at it now, she's dead, gives me the bloody runs. <laughs> Take the jewels, pearls and other valuables, bum nibbling Bruce tossed into her grave. Oh, and if you see the milk sop hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. P.S. Apparently, ever since Selena's death, that kid's been moping near Olmer's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. Bloody hell. <laughs> That's horrible. Alright guys, so anyway. Bye cat. <laughs> anyway, bye cat. Uh, there is stuff to loot here though. Um, oh, we'll come back. We'll come back. It's fine. So we've got to meditate. 
Anyway, there should be some sounds. No, we need to, we need it to be night actually night time. Alright, it's fine. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait till dusk. Okay, so let's just meditate here. I don't know. Here maybe. We shouldn't have any fights, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, no place like home. What's happened? Oh, additional armor stands. Weapon racks. Yeah, go on. What about roaches? Um, <gasps> My new bed has arrived at Corvo Bianco. Guys, this is awesome. Every time you meditate on that bed or sleep on that bed, you get a thousand um, extra vitality. That's awesome, man. Anyway. Um, guys? There's supposed to be sounds. Oh my god, okay, whatever. Oh, that was just loot. Um, there should be sounds, and then Geralt will say, um, what was that, etc, etc. But it'll be in that room. Okay, whatever, let's just, um, let's just loot everything first, I guess. Some good crafting materials, so make sure you get all this. Oh, Cure Draconid, fantastic. There's a lot of stuff to loot here, guys, so don't miss out on it. Um, trust me, you're going to need all of this, believe you me. Now, okay, wait, check this out. Oh, Jesus. Okay, private chamber of the right honourable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Buclair. May they always draw their best. <laughs> right, there's going to be some dudes down there. We might as well just kill them. You'll not find work here. Not paying with us. Oh, they're not attacking me. I was a cutscene, okay. Come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. <laughs> Look at the hair moss. Jesus. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. <laughs> With a plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. Mm, if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Yep, I agree. I agree, Geralt. Uh, my euphoria, uh, euphoria kicked in, but I've got no toxicity. So let's do that. Let's take some more potions. Why not? Uh, let's take adrenaline. Let's take... No, not that. I don't want that. Jesus. This one. This one. Uh, why not throw that in as well? Okay, so there you go. And check out my damage. This won't be long. Just going to check. So, look at that. DPS has increased. And side intensity. That's wonderful. <laughs> They're still quite tanky, though. But, guys, look. It's not as good as it used to be. It's not as good. But it's still excellent. You know, I can't complain. All right, anyway. Right, what else is there? Uh, we need to come back here anyway, so don't worry. Look, you know this, I'll leave it because I'm coming back. So, we'll sort that out in a minute. Come on, Geralt. God, I hate when he jogs so slowly. Why does he do that? Anyway, this is giving me an opportunity to loot. I need to do this anyway. Alright, so we're back here, I think. No, there's another area. Okay, check it out. Meteorite ingots. Oh, there's another room there. And check it out. Rune and, well, five florins, whatever. Well, what's this? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. Come on. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Come on. Where are the sounds? Guys, I hope it's not bugged. I I don't understand. I, I don't know what's happened. There should be sounds. I don't get it. What if I leave the circle? Damn it. Oh, there, there. More fighting. 
Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Okay, right, basically you've got to leave, and then... So, noises coming from here. Okay, here we go. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair, either. Okay, so we look at that. To okay, Geralt, that's enough. Jesus. Smashed as if someone threw it against the wall. Oh, enough, Geralt. Jesus. My God. Okay, let's check this one out. Louis de Corentin died on the day of St. Zoetham's remembrance. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Now, was there anything else? Oh, here we are. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. I think I have to leave. Okay, let me leave. And maybe... There you go. Noises clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide. See how things play out. All right. So we go behind the statue. I'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. I don't mind keeping it down. Uh, I don't know. Let's do that, I guess. What's this argument about, anyway? <coughs> sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. <laughs> I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once. Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt. And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards. So prepared I. to wager his own <laughs> child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Oh dear. <laughs> because I warned you. Some fire <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> Quiet. Shut up, both of you. <laughs> it was about time he was about to lose it, man. Anyway, got to get one of you out of here. Whose crypt is this rightfully? Let's do that, I guess. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's got to go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his oh. lucky Gwent cards. Hold on, guys. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! <laughs> Blast 
asked it all. Had I those fairy cards at the tournament in Valhaven, I'd still be alive. <laughs> it's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. <laughs> God they damn. murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. Right, right, okay. Gotta move one of them out. Right, here's the thing. Thus I was actually going to take her side, right? But I just After remembered. Added, for you shall have none left for me. Heretic, shut your mouth. I shall speak to you no more. No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more. You shall die. <laughs> This is like my parents <laughs> when I was younger. Okay, look, basically, I was going to side with her, but um, because I was... Okay, you win Gwent cards, or you can fight. She'll give me some Gwent cards. I just remembered something, guys. I've got all of the Gwent cards. I think it's um, a Katakan, I think. I'm not sure. And I think a Squirtel card, but I've got them. So you get nothing, essentially, for helping her. I'm going to help him. Instead, that's why I left that Gwent book um, down below. I was going to bring him down there. So, I will help. Yeah, let's help. Wait, take Louis. Oh, the urn. Okay, I see, I see. I'm going to take hers because there's no point. Urn with ashes of Margaret D. Quarantine. Okay. No, wait. If you truly must do this, then please... At the least, deposit me somewhere pleasant. All the same to me. Where do you want to go? Take me to my mother's grave. It's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls. A lovely spot, almost on the lake shore. The flora there, it's extraordinary, really. Hmm, extraordinary flora. Where is it exactly? Beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut. The tombstone bears my mother's name, Micheline Belros. Micheline Belros. I think I failed to heed her when she warned me about that lout. Yeah, she's a nice lady. This guy's a cock, honestly. But I get it. He's a he's a slave to the cards, guys, and I totally get that. Okay, we'll speak to Masters. I don't think he's got any dialogue. Anyway, so I need to get out of here. Let me put my lamp. Who the hell's that? Oh, gravedig. Things with these cataracts. Sonny, is that you? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, this one's pretty simple. We just put her um, ashes or whatever. Hey. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Wants me to go here, and then this way, I guess. He's asleep. <laughs> mentioned. So where's the grave? Under a chestnut, or so Margot claimed. Isn't it this one? That's a massive tree, so it has to be this. Oh, that's uh, Professor Moreau. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. What's that? No, that's nothing. Oh, uh, what? That's where the drowners were. We killed them, so that's all sorted. Oh, it's here. I'm sorry, I'm blind. The freaking map actually is telling me where to go. Oh, I don't know. This one, maybe? I don't know. Micheline Bell oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. it. Okay, place. Wow, well, that's done. Yeah, I would have done it, but hey, I've got the Gwent cards. What do I need to help, you know, help her for? All right, let's go this way. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Okay, this way. I uh, hope I'm not going to get lost here. 
Ah, oh, here we are. Okay, good. And then we go down, I think. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Right, this guy has basically lied to us, but you'll see anyway. You'll see. <laughs> right, so he's not the there. With Margo's ashes, just like you wanted. Dewey, you there? Should have known he'd stand me up. All right, if that's how you want to play it. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I Dick. don't know where the cards are, but but I shall think of something. Just wait. Got it. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection, a lovely blade, finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Corentin? <laughs> mm -hmm. That could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some oh such. Oh my god, she hypnosis. <laughs> Trentin no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep dude loop. Deep dude loop. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we'll do that, guys. But I need to check out that uh, written uh, note downstairs, so I'll do that real quick. You know what? I never understood about ghosts. Okay, look, they... Alright, they, they don't have material form, right? They can pass through anything, etc. What I don't get is, how do they stand on the floor? You know where Geralt, like, Geralt is standing on the floor? So if Geralt was a ghost, why doesn't he sink through the floor? Does that make sense? <laughs> Sorry, maybe I'm thinking about it too deeply, but... It just always makes me wonder why, <laughs> when they portray ghosts, or spirits, or whatever. Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> right. Okay, O'Day to Gwent. This is if I helped um, the lady instead of him. Proposal number seven for the anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Author, uh, Stéphane D. Duve, Duve? Master Cooper. Gwent is like a ruddy wine. Gwent's a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, your cares melt off in a dash. Then you wish but to play, play, play. But her indoors winds hit the hay, hay, hay. <laughs> Such minds are dull as muddy yards. To think this but a game of cards. Chorus. Oh, it's an actual song. I thought it was just a poem. Uh, Gwent is my liberty. Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves, relieves the day's sorrow. And Gwent is my... Uh, Gwent is my morrow. I actually agree with that. Poker has had it, and dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. There are no better satisfactions, greater than Buclair's Bellets, is its list of attractions. Greater than even the festival of drinks or even a tipsy young minx. They can holler and shout. They can release the guards. I'm leaving home. I'm off to play cards. <laughs> Gwent is my liberty. Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow. And Gwent is my morrow. Pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, but I'd like to hear the actual song. I wonder if there's any, any NPCs that sing it. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do is find this dude... Um, I think he's a blacksmith, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty certain it's a blacksmith, but um, so we're going to find him. Oh, Witcher Geralt, the Duchess's darling. Yeah. What of it, bitch? <laughs> what do you want? Okay. Okay, here we go. Is it here? Quite the fragrant whiff. Wait, how do I? What is the pheasantry stewing up? Yeah, this is it. This is it. Okay. 
crawling on an empty stomach. Why is that sinister ghosty music still playing? Trenton, here we are. <laughs> Best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Uh, by the way, guys, he also gives fantastic prices. Oh, and I need to buy something. I'm such an idiot. Show me what you have. Give me a sec, guys. I need to do something real quick. Um, I hope he sells them. If not, it's not an issue, but um, I'm just so forgetful. I might oh, crap. Okay, he buys swords for amazing prices. So, you know, sell to him if you need to. Anyway, we're not here for that right now. Oh, actually, one second. One second. Sure. We need to repair. I have not ripped. Jesus, 71%. Oh, 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 that is ridiculous. Oh my god, 92%. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so I've come for Louis' sword. Here to collect Louis de Quarantan's sword. Ha! That's rich. De Quarantan's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Hey. <laughs> Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, <laughs> in fact, till your wife helped to kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah, oh, the bum poke. <laughs> Here, I thought I might hang it over the mantle again. With Louis gnawing radishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her <laughs> sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? Yes, we are gonna play. Jesus, of course we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm still gonna use Northern All Realms right. though. Convinced me. Lay him out. Right, yeah, uh, not Skellige yet. Um, I need a few more cards. I know which cards will help, but um, anyway. Right, let's go for it. Oh, great. Scoitel. Jesus. Uh, yeah, two decoys. Gaunter. Uh, this isn't bad. I wish I had a medic, though, but it's okay. Um, do I need two decoys, though? Let me, oh, I don't know, guys. I've got another. De I can't believe this. I well, well. <laughs> I tried to put one decoy away only to get another decoy. Okay, he's gonna line up um, front row. Might have to lose this one. I don't have a Scorch or Philly. If I did, wow. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really get much. Okay, that's fine. Nothing I can do. Uh, really? Oh, uh, well, I'd like to uh, actually win this, so I've only got one Crimford. Yeah, let's do that. I'd rather take the win. Okay, now I've got down the line. Um, okay, look, he's going to medic out Baylor, but is he going to do it in this round? I wonder. You know what, maybe I should have put Geralt out there. Damn it, I should have put Geralt out there first. Um, I don't know. I want to force some more cards out of him, but I want that freaking spy. I don't know if he'll do it if I pressure him. And I don't have a medic. Screw it. I'm going to put Geralt out there. <laughs> See what happens. He's going to retaliate by putting a 10. Oh, he's put a thingy there. Okay, cool. Hey, guys. At least we flushed this out for the next round. So let's um, quit. I just hope he doesn't put the um, medic and Thaler. That would suck. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank goodness. Okay, what have you got for me? Okay, let's put the eight. Actually, I don't want to put... Well, ugh. no, not yet, not yet. Let's do that. Please don't have Vili. <laughs> that would suck. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, good, good, good. Come on, come on, give me control. Okay, a little muster. Um, okay, let me put... Actually, let me put you. I think I'm going to have to front load it. Um, are you kidding me? Ah, shit. See, it's good. Guys, it's a good thing I didn't put this A out because it would have been both my cards. Ah, sucks. But anyway, whatever. Whatever. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> oh, shite. What, what is this? Oh, you're kidding. My God, he is, he is going to kill me. <laughs> All right, let's put that. God damn it, man. I, now would have been a good time to have Vili, but I don't have it. Um, let's put this out there. Yeah, go on then. We'll have to do that. I was going to wait, but... Clear weather? Yes! <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, there we go. I wish I had a commander's horn. But you see, this is why Olgid uh, is so good. Um, he's going to add a point or two points to Vesemir. And he himself is obviously a 12 as well. So there you go. He's worth 14, Vesemir. Not bad at all. It serves me right for challenging a stranger to have such a deck. So long. All right, guys. So now we've uh, defeated. We can actually play him properly in terms of Gwen. So I'm not going to do that now. Collection reward for solving the mystery. Uh, what? I thought I got the reward, guys. Sorry, something's wrong. Collect your reward? Uh, what? I thought you just gave me the reward. I don't get it. Uh, wow. I just, sorry, I don't know what to say. I hope this isn't bugged, because that would suck balls. Okay, it's telling me to go back here, but why? Oh, my reward. Sorry, I'm a dickhead. Ignore me. Oh, look, um, it's very late at night and I'm very sleepy. Just ignore me, guys. Okay, this is what he meant. The reward from this... No, not him. <laughs> not him. Where is he? This dickhead. Okay, um, what I have to do is um, I'm going to tell him the truth and he'll give me less money. And that's okay. I don't give a toss. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clogs has grown intolerably loud. The punt has bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. <laughs> but tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Uh, yeah, tough job. No, we'll say that, because I want the XP. Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Okay, well, 80 Thanks. XP. But it'll normally be 100. It's because of my level. Oh, I've still got 50 crowns. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't expect that. And, remember, we've got this brand new sword, um, Forged in Fire. 
this is actually pretty good, guys. It's still not as good as... Oh, God. Anyway, um, in case you're wondering why I'm not selling anything out, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to sort that all out at some point. But, um... Anywho, let's go... Yeah, we're going to do the White Slayer. I'd better meditate, actually. So what we'll do is... Okay, Roach, let's go... Actually, guys, I tell you what, if you yeah, don't mind, yeah, I'm fast. gonna go home and get my. Um, hang on, where is it? <laughs> I was getting lost here, Jesus. Oh, you know what? Let me take on this one occasion. I'm gonna fast travel. Like I said, I'd rather take a horse ride to enjoy the beautiful scenery, but I'm a bit pressed for time. So <laughs> we're gonna go back to Corvo Bianca just to get buffed up. This won't take long at all. And for this quest, I will take off the hair mask as well <laughs> i want to put these shades back in i've had my fun <laughs> so there we go oh don't worry the hair mask is coming back at some point don't worry about that anyway um so i'm going to meditate until the next day there we go just so i can use a uh, tawny owl etc get for all that work Okay, so I'll drink that now. Grab that, grab that. Uh, Roach, you're going to get a brand new house very soon. I'm really happy for her. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for her, you know. Okay, this way. Okay, have I been here before? I wonder. I probably have. I probably have. Anyway. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, this way. And where am I on the map? Oh, bloody hell. That is quite far. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Have a lovely horse ride. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, please, please. Come on. Come on, Roach. Oh, really? Can I not go fast? What are these people just nice doing here? Now. <laughs> okay, whatever. Alright. All. Oh, Get out of the way. Watch where you stand. Anyway. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, thank you. No, come on. Go. Oh, we get guys again the music. Oh. It's so disappointing, you know, when this happens. The music just cuts out. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Nothing I can do. The thing is, I could reload the save. Um, oh, thank you. But the thing is, it still cuts out. The music will kick back in, but it just cuts out again. Which is bloody annoying. No, <laughs> Roach, please. Come on, Roach. Want to enjoy this horse ride? <laughs> and why is this so bloody cloudy? And why is the white dots telling me to go this way? What's going on? No, the music's cut out. You see? Ah, oh, bloody old guys. Anyway, I'm gonna stop moaning, but I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Don't it's speed ahead. Just a little bit annoying. Oh my god, the white dots are so confusing. It really is. Um. You know what, guys? I'm sorry, but... Oh, no, I can't. There's no way to fast travel, too. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, here's what we do. I'm going to go to the cemetery. And we're just going to use... Uh, yeah, just take from there, really. What the hell's happened here? Nothing. Okay. Go on. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm such an idiot. Sorry, we, we're going to do a quick detour. I'm going to go back in to see, not see Regis, but um, I'm going to go back here. There's some stuff I didn't uh, collect, and I don't think it will be available after this quest is done. So let's go back and see Regis real quick. Just want to get this out of the way, because if I forget to do it, I'll feel terrible for not showing it to you guys. Nothing special, it's just some uh, lore, you know, some stuff. 
stuff to read. What's this? Oh, nice. Okay, mushrooms. Where's Regis? Where is he? <laughs> I hope he's okay. Anyway, so read. Arcadius, uh, this isn't it, but I'm just reading it. Uh, lived to a ripe old age. In fact, he lived so long, he died of boredom. All right, Arca Arcadius, Arcadius Borovic. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here are nice mushrooms. I think it's this. Biography of the Vampire Regis from the Quill of Dandelion. Okay, um, one of the most extraordinary individuals I've encountered during my numerous adventures at Geralt's side was the vampire known as Regis. To be pre uh, precise, he was known as Emil Regis Rohelek Terziev Godefroy? <laughs> Sorry, if I butchered that, I apologise, guys. By his own reckoning, he was 428 years old and was a descendant of unfortunate beings trapped in our world during the conjunction of spears. As you sh uh, uh, you are surely thinking, dear reader, about Catacans, Alps, uh, and other such monsters, and are pondering how it was that the Witcher, who, it must be admitted, is a slayer of monsters, came to keep such company. I must here explain that Regis was a high vampire, a creature who, which physically does not differ all that much from a man. High vampires are also much more powerful than their wild confreries, and their regenerative abilities significantly outpace those of anything else you have encountered or can even imagine. But it is not because of his outer appearances or inner strength that Regis uh, became our dear companion. Uh, by the way, I'm saying Regis, Regis, I think that's the correct way of pronouncing it, but I'll just call him Regis, became our dear companion. True, he could be pretentious and rather pompous. No, he's not. In his frequent length per perorotations? I've never heard of a word like that. But one would be hard-pressed to find him the hauntingness, haughty, no, haughtiness, usually present in higher beings. Uh, Regis valued human life dearly and refuse to kill unless forced to do so. As he once confessed, high vampires do not in fact need to drink bloods at all in order to survive. They treat it somewhat as we treat alcohol. A rough grasp of this dynamic might be given to you by the fact that when we met him, um, Regis had been abstinent for years. He never revealed to us why he decided to join our search for Siri. He had never met her before, nor did he live to see her. Okay, so he didn't know her. Okay. He died at Stig Castle during the battle against the mad mage Vilgefort, who was responsible for the whole affair. He died for a cause which he surely did not fully understand, but he did it to defend those he held dear and simply because it was the right thing to do. I shall always remember him as a rural surgeon reeking of herbs. That is how he came to us during our first encounter at the Fen Ken Necropolis, when he treated me and my companions to a fantastic brew he made from mandrake root. Wherever you are, my friends, bottoms up. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, so that's a bit of a law for anyone out there, especially new players, you know. Alright, cool. So let's get out of here. Oh, what was that? <gasps> Regis is up there. Look, Regis is up there, guys. He's smoke. Oh my god, that is so sick. That is awesome. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that is awesome, guys. Okay, there's no point talking to him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is by Regis. It's actually quite disturbing. My last thought before I succumb to sleep. My last thought before falling asleep, if there is no death, does life exist? Hate is a very interesting feeling. I've noticed that people improve themselves, improve themselves with it to great effect. Sometimes I would like to stop thinking. If we were to create a god as the humans have, what would he be like? People justify bad deeds by good intentions. I'm not sure if there is greater idiocy. Idi idiocy yeah, that's right. I would drink the freshly squeezed blood of an infant. I know I can't, 
but I hope that its velvety taste will send me to sleep. That is horrible, guys. See, he still has a bit of darkness within him. Uh, but anyway, I strive to live like a person, and it means that I have ceased to feel good among people, as well as among my own. Maybe I made a big mistake. I've always wanted to write. I'm very tired and fuck it all. People don't think about the present. They usually remember old times or worry about the future. That is true. I have a feeling that my friend Detlev will die. I am sad. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. Hey, he's turning into smoke again. That's amazing. That is amazing, guys. Oh, is he appearing there? All right. Regeneration uh, potion formula. Um, eight measures of vervain extract. Leshen fang. Okay. <laughs> Sand curum. Althanthra. Broth made of young mandrake shoots. Grind a large ingredients, add a smaller one's whole, boil everything in a bronze kettle using crystal water. Consume the mixture twice daily in half measure doses. Do not exceed the recommended dosage. Okay. So he's brewing. And check it out. <laughs> awesome. Okay, anyway, let's get out of here. I'll stop lollygagging now. Well, no, not really lollygagging. This is actually important, guys. It's good for the law, especially, like I said, new players, you know. If you've never played this before and you're watching this playthrough like a story, I want to give you the full experience. Anyway, so let's move on. This eight. Hey, don't get. Oh, Roach, don't, don't. don't. Where's the fire? Ease up. Oh, Roach, please don't. <laughs> God. <laughs> Guys, I, I have no words. Okay, let's trot slowly, and now will you go, Roach? Yeehaw. Okay, good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! Oh, shit! Uh, do I want to fight it? Oh, god damn it. Uh, why are you running away? Hey, come back here! Hey, come back here, you stupid piece of shit! Oh my god, I don't have... Oh my god, don't have the right... Oh, Jesus Christ. One second, guys. Okay, one second. Um, I need... That... That... Run away. <laughs> okay, that and that and that. Why am I not here getting any crits? Okay, I'll do the best sherry later, guys. Wow. Okay, anyway, I didn't expect that. I didn't know there was a panther here. No, no, no. Roach, please, please. Come on, move. Jesus. Oh my god, guys. Oh, right. Okay, let's go on this road. I'm ignoring the white dots, guys. It's just giving me North the wrong freaking direction, so... Let's go this way. Okay, here we go. I would have fast-traveled, but I don't have... Oh, shoot. I just remembered something. There's, I'm going to run into a quest here. Okay, no, we're not going to go that way. I'm so sorry, guys. There's going to be a quest, and, and if I leave, this quest will fail. So I think I understand why this game is telling me to go this way. I could be wrong. I could make, you know... Um, anyway, I'm going to go this way, guys. And by the way, this quest that's here is the hardest fight in the entire Witcher 3, including its DLCs. <laughs> and, and I'm sure Witcher veterans know what I'm talking about. And I'm doing this on enemy scaling up as well. Oh, check it out. Look, guest room renovations. Okay. Okay, just that. Okay, fine. Fair enough. All right. And where to next? Okay, let's go here. No, let's go here and then do a sharp left. Show me what you got. Okay, it's this way, isn't it? Alright. Uh, there's going to be something here. I guess we can aim for that, I suppose. Oh no, dear, don't go in front of me. <laughs> okay, 
Here we go. Making progress, which is good. Right. Things get very spooky. It starts fogging up a bit. We may as well do that, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. But, um... Oh, shit. I know what this is, guys. This is going to be foglit, so we need necrophage oil. Okay, and I need to put up my... Okay, good. Toxicity's all the way up. Look at my damage. <laughs> awesome. Oh, no. Um, it, I need to enter combat. All right, guys. Let's let's take care of these sons, sons of bitches. Uh, what? Oh, you piece of shit. Come on. What the hell are you doing there, man? Oh my god, it's so annoying. Okay, good. There's another one. I know there is. Oh, you bastard! Wow. Okay. See that blizzard going to work, guys? Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, you must always take a swallow, guys, so, because um, my toxicity is so high. Um, I'll be constantly taking damage. So, and I'm not using a kidna. Anyway, let's keep checking all this. <laughs> Blueberries, raspberries, hunk of nickel. That's a very important crafting as well. And so, where's the actual treasure? Oh my god, uh, Corvo Bianca's stables have, have been refurbished. That's fantastic. So Roach's house is ready. Okay, Smeag... Oh, I remember this. This is a reference to Lord of the Rings. But anyway, Smeagol Circus's notes. Andy Circus and Golem. And Golden Spoon. And some very, very essential materials for Grandmaster Gear. Smeagol Circus's notes. I've lost him, my dearest... Someone has stolen him, my darling, my treasure, my spoon. <laughs> that creature from the Carboretta Woods. Must have been. Must have been it, I mean. All the help says the towns are buzz with talk about missing spoons. For much time now, indeed. Since this creature has stolen cutlery from all Boucler and has not yet been caught by a valiant guard, it means it must be clever, tricky even, and anyone clever can be swayed by arguments especially financial ones. So I asked my jeweler, Mathenberg, to make me a spoon out of pure gold, which I shall take to Carburetta Woods to find that monster and propose a trade. A spoon of gold for my most precious spoon. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> anyway, that's awesome. I didn't know it was here. I thought it was going to be, um, like, somewhere else with vampires for some reason. Anyway... Well, more or less here. I might as well go on foot. It's a little bit... Oh, crap. What is that? Oh, are you, ki are you kidding me? Oh, guys, do I want to do this? Oh, my God. Should I go? No. Well, maybe they won't notice me. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, never mind. Jesus. Okay, can you notice that? Because of delayed recovery... Because of delayed recovery, I still got um, my potions up. Oh, come on. Don't be awkward. <laughs> Blizzard is awesome, guys. Oh, crap. Didn't even see him. Oh, you bitch. Uh, playing house what? Garden renovations of Corvo Bianca. Have... So it's all done. No! Oh, God's sake. Really? Where is he? Oh my god, guys, it's so annoying. What now, my piece? <laughs> nice. Guys, I love Blizzard. I love it. It's just it's just too awesome. Anyway, let's grab all of this crap. Um 
All right, they're all dead. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Am I going the right way? Okay, turn left. Okay, there are some tough enemies, though, and Blizzard is perfect for this fight. Um, oh, God. One's coming up on the map already. Okay. God, it's right there. Jesus. Okay, so we need to go in here. Oh, it's another Foglet. Are you kidding? Guys, are you kidding me? I don't believe this. Uh, guys, I've noticed something as well. I swear my tawny owl is not really working properly. My stamina regen is way too slow. you got to remember, I've got light armor, right? I don't know what is going on, guys. It's, it's a little bit concerning, but uh, anyway. All right, hopefully, please, please don't be any more bloody foglets. Bar guests. Never a good omen. Okay, these things can be quite nasty, so... We fought them before, anyway, in a previous episode. They're manageable, but still, don't underestimate them. I need to top... I think I better top up. Let me do that, just to put my toxicity up again. Okay, see, that was Blizzard. Ah, still got really far. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, there's going to be more. Don't worry, this isn't it. There's more. Gosh, it's so spooky here. Right, there's one here. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, you bitch. Okay, done, done. Okay, cool. Now, uh, you don't want to miss any collectibles here, so... Oh, shit. Do I want to go here? What is this? Sorry, give me a sec, guys. Mm, no, nothing. Okay, just checking. Just having a look. Never know. Oh, Jesus. Listen to that. Remember what the Raven said? Um, the Ravens are friends of Regis. There were some millions of spoons here. Guys, that is so creepy. Alright, anyway. I'm actually scared. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Right, that's where we need to go. Um, we don't need to fight them now. Regis's raven wasn't lying. Spoons all over the place. Yeah, let's fight them. Let's just get this out of the way. Wow. I like that silver. Come on, get in! Jesus! Okay, okay. Guys, I love Blizzard. I passionately love Blizzard. It's the best potion. No, don't punch Carol. Try collecting things. Come on. Okay, anything else? Okay. Alright, um... Now we've cleared those enemies. Let's go in here. trying to tell me something what uh, guys do you, any of you know what that means uh, meaning you know has anyone translated that is it like a code or anyway okay I'm gonna go up there in a minute I'm just looking around for any you know bits of writing <laughs> a wooden spoon No, nothing here. Okay, cool. Anything around here? Nope, nothing. 
Okay, let's look around this way. Ah, also nothing. Damn it. shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. I haven't seen one yet, but I'm pretty sure Ex Letalis has translated those um, Gogolic scripts that you saw in the cutscene there. Anyway, let's have a look around. Better put my... Yeah, this one. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. Okay, oh, never mind. He hasn't Spoon translated because it's already translated by the developers. Again, Ignore me. <laughs> Guys, I'm just half asleep, man. Did a full day's work and um, I get home late. And I'd like to play Witcher, so... <laughs> right. What is this? Soiled letter. Marlene, my dearest daughter, you've no idea the pain it causes a father to write these words. A father who must abandon his own child cease to be a father. And his heart shall never know comfort. Sadly, as a result of what has happened, I have no other choice. We, along with the rest of the household, must abandon our estate. It is because that curse took you from us, leaving in your stead a mindless, bloodthirsty creature. We shall go north to Kavir, and if you ever read this letter, which could only mean you have returned to human form, you are to look for us there. For my part, I can only promise each year I will send an envoy who will be tasked with checking in on you, seeing if you are alive, and if so, in what form. Faith that you will once again be my beloved Marlene gives me the strength to live on. Perhaps the curse will not last forever. Perhaps someone will come along. Someone will come along. You can lift this bird. Who? What? Who? Can, I'm sure they meant who can lift this burden from you. Farewell, your loving father. That is sad, guys. Now, new players. Obviously, all veterans know this. New players. What do you think's happened here? Okay, clue, spoons, and a curse. <laughs> and maybe think of along the lines of punishment. Who could do such a thing? So anyway, I just want you to kind of think about that. So the pig's die. Jesus. Need to search it thoroughly. Find look a at way to collect some guys. white saliva. Guys, look at this. This is awful. Imagine you found a house like this in real life. Jesus. Anyway. So we just got to have a look around at everything. Check it out. I didn't know that was in there, by the way. <laughs> I just randomly opened this. Right, Stained Diary. For a few days now, I've been having dizzy spells. I've never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit a herbalist. The dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain, so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist. A repulsive old crone looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in a mirror and I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags on my eyes, but today, there are no wrinkles but I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. It's horrible. It's got to be because of those damn herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in. Bloody hell. <laughs> but her chambers were empty. She must have known what would happen to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing back faster and faster. I've tried to put the idea out of my head. But I can't hold, hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar. 
an old beggar whom I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it is getting hard to write. Loneliness. No family. Eat. I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons. Nothing. Eat. It hurts. Mirror. Lies. No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Look, it's that's what's written on there. It's not my fault. <laughs> Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. That's horrific, guys. Honestly, it kind of reminded me of. Uh, do you remember the f uh, a movie called The Fly with uh, Jeff Goldblum? It's just you know this uh, man. He starts turning into a, a half man, half insect. But, you know, daily he changes. Uh, it's kind of similar to that. It's like a horrific transformation. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. Okay, so what's here? Gosh, look at this. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe. All right, anyway, so let's keep moving on. Um, I advise no you... spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Okay, so basically, search everything because it will help... Uh, it will help your decision um, uh, towards the end of this. But anyway... White's obsessed. A real collector. Bread. There are clues that will throw you off. Okay. Okay, smooth. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Okay, let's have a look. Right, spoon keynote. This certif uh, certifies the item up for auction. An antique spoon key forged at the Christopherson and Sons workshop in 1210. Belongs to Smeagol Circus, owner of the pheasantry. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be a treasure hunt for later on, guys. All right, we're going to go downstairs in just a moment. We need to keep looking for clues. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Okay. Maybe a little old. Okay, this is where the clues get a bit shitty, so... Right, let me grab that first. <laughs> More spoons, Jesus. Just what I've always wanted. Woman's name scratched into oh. this wooden spoon. Romantic. Okay. Well, I'll grab that in a minute. Let's check this out. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It did make sense. Okay, so remember that clue, guys. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Jesus. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Wow. <laughs> that is horrible. Okay. Grab that. Decaying letter, guys. Oof. Okay. Decaying letter. Dear Master Lavasier? Lavasier, maybe? I know you track outlaws for pay. I have an unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder why I have drawn you out here, and why we cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of meeting is very risky. Not so much for me, as for the person with whom I meet. For I am afflicted by a curse, or, as I hope, and why I have turned to you, the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by a herbalist. Soon after I visited the herbalist, she disappeared without trace. I desperately wish to understand my illness, so I wish to hire you to find her. When you do, learn as much from her as you can about the medicine she gave me. If my suffering is a result of her wickedness, then make her provide an antidote. I assure you, I have ample wealth and will reward you with no small part of it for your services. If it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, please let her go. I will then have a different task for you, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse, which only the gods can cure. I believe it was cast upon me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was hosting a soiree for a few friends. 
if you can find that vagrant, I'll pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is that he sold mirrors. Get it? <laughs> I am aware this is not so uh, not much aid for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talents and wish you the best of luck. Marlene D. Trastamara. Okay, I guess um, you've pieced together. Gauntra Dim's been up to no good again. Anyway, so we're going to go downstairs. Actually, it does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Aldrin should be somewhere around here. Oh, okay. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Wait, just before I go there. Let me just check this place out. I don't remember if there's anything to collect or not. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Thousands of them here. White's been a collector for years. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. Oh, Jesus. All right, never mind. Okay, um... I don't think there's anything to collect here per se, but there will be later on. Okay, much later, but we don't have to worry about that now. So... Alright, guys. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Where do I go first? Wait, hold on. Is this... This is where I came from, right? That's where I came out of. We need to be here. I was looking for... Why it's not particularly tidy. Oh, nice. A green mutagen. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Oh, shut up. Maybe a little old. Okay, check it out. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. 240 XP. Decent. So that's why I mean, um... Oh shit, I'm overburdened. God damn. Yep, just as normal. No, don't do that, Carol. What are you doing? Jesus. Alright. Anyway, guys, so, uh, you know, check everything. You get more XP, but more than that, it gives you clues on how to cure her. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Okay, so we can hide in here, guys. Okay, your choice, but I'm going to lift a curse. You 
tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Okay, let's swap spoons. No. Let's eat using the spoons. No. Let's eat not using the spoons. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Oh, God, that is awful. Oh, God. Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. Oh, crap. Uh, what do you mean optional? Follow the stench. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. What okay, so we're going to do that. Given its stench. But I need to swap out, I don't know, let's take out muscle memory. And I'll put strong back. Where is it? This one. Okay, so get that skill if you get overburdened. Or you can take a decoction if you want to. And so that'll be the Fiend's decoction. Okay, so where... Where's she gone? She's outside, isn't she? I hope there's no enemies. Not in the mood. <laughs> right. Okay, just follow this trail. Oh, you're shitting me! Oh, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! One sec, guys. Need that. And can I squeeze that in? Yes, I can. Oh, <laughs> full toxicity, guys. Are you kidding? Wow, they're so fast. Hey, hey, hey. Where's it going? Really? I swear there was another one. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, there's one there. Shit, okay. Right there you are. <laughs> He's hiding in the bushes, a piece of shit. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's keep following this down. I can't see any other enemies on Witcher senses, so. Anyway. Oh, sorry, she's there. Right. lady I'll take you someplace safe So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Jesus. Whatever brought this about? Okay, guys, listen to the music. 
Okay, not now, but when we start talking about... Oh, no, we're in a hurry, Jesus. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again, since she adored feasts. He swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. <laughs> Ever play Gwent? <laughs> not now, guys, not now. Um, okay, so we'll leave her there. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Uh, look at the toxic. Oh, wait, look at the XP. 800 XP, guys. That's awesome. I need the XP. I need more ability points, so... Um, so I can strengthen uh, this. Ah, uh, God, I don't really have much. I've got five ability points. Like I said, guys, I'll do my best to get all the skills, etc. But I, I don't know if it's possible. Anyway, let's see if we can speak to Marlene. Oh, thank you. Mm, so tasty. Oh, so good. <laughs> this is what I'm like when I have pizza, guys. I love pizza. I love burgers as well. Mm. Tasty. Mm. <laughs> so mm. wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you. Mm. So tasty. Oh, oh, poor lady. So good. Let her enjoy herself. Let her enjoy herself. Anyway, guys, listen. That is all done. All done for today. Um, but yeah, this was really uh uh, creepy but there was a happy ending at the end of it i guess we rescued her from being a white you heard the music it was gauntra or dim gauntra or dim who just des destroyed her life and she just lost everything absolutely awful look check it out my new bed and speaking of devil well it's not gauntra or dim um another yeah another pair of lives that he's destroyed no i want to look at it jesus Oh, I'd love to do this. <laughs> but it's so sad. Gortro Dim just enjoys... Um, he takes pleasure in hurting, you know, uh, humans. But um, anyway, enough about that. Guys, this was awesome. I really enjoyed this episode, man. This is awesome. I'm really sleepy. I do apologize if I sound sleepy sometimes. And I don't read things properly. But honestly, my eyes are literally closing. But I had to get this uh, episode done for you guys. Because I love this quest. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your support, guys. Really mean it. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next part. Take care.